and welcome back to Food Utopia. Today, we will be making paneer butter masala. This dish is packed with flavors and it has a really rich and creamy texture. So without further ado, let's get cooking. To make this recipe, we will need 400 grams of paneer or cottage cheese, one and a half onions that are chopped, three and a half tomatoes that are chopped, four to five cloves of garlic that are peeled, half an inch of ginger that is chopped, and 10 to 15 cashews. All of the other ingredients are three tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of oil, one small cinnamon stick, one bay leaf, two to three cardamoms, three to four cloves, two teaspoons of red chili powder, one and a half teaspoon of coriander powder or dhania powder, some salt as per your taste, half a teaspoon of garam masala, half a cup of water, half a cup of milk, one teaspoon of granulated sugar. This is optional but it will just add a little bit of sweetness. One teaspoon of kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves. One teaspoon of cumin seeds. Some plain yogurt, which you can add as the topping at the end. If you would like, you can also add in two tablespoons of fresh cream, but that is optional. First, you will take a blender and we will puree the vegetables. So you will add in the tomato, the onions, the ginger, the garlic, and the cashews. You will blend these together until they become a puree. This is how your puree should look. You will take a large pot on medium heat and add in the butter and the oil. You will wait for the butter to get melted and for the oil to get heated. Then you will add in the cumin seeds, the bay leaf, the cinnamon stick, the cloves and the cardamom. You will stir these for around 15 seconds. Then you will add in the red chili powder and give this a good mix. After that, you will add in the tomato onion puree that we made earlier. You will turn the heat to low and give this a good mix. You will turn the heat back to medium and put on the lid of the pot. You will cook this mixture until it becomes thick. You know that this puree is cooked once the oil starts separating. Make sure to stir the mixture every few minutes so that it does not stick to the bottom. Once the gravy becomes thick, you will add in the coriander powder the garam masala and some salt. You will give all of this a good mix. You will turn the heat to low and add in the water, and the milk. You will give this a good mix. Then we will add in the sugar and give this another mix. Next, 
We will add in the kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves. And if you want, you can even add in some chopped cilantro. You will stir these together. You will turn off the heat. And lastly, you will add in the paneer or cottage cheese. You will mix the paneer into the gravy. You can give your paneer butter masala a taste to see if you need to add in any salt. You will take the yogurt and we will whisk it until it is a bit thin. Using a spoon, you can drizzle some of the whisked yogurt onto the paneer butter masala. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Tell me how you liked it in the comments below. If you would like the full recipe, it will be down in the description box. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell icon. Make sure to follow my Instagram account. See you in the next video.